Hi there, in this video I'm going to tackle uh, the Matomos performances dealing with the hardware part. Uh, so in fact, uh, most of the people are telling me that Google Analytics is a better product because uh, it's uh, loading far faster than uh, Matomo, but the point is that uh, we have no idea about what is the source code behind of Google Analytics and we do not have any idea of what is the hardware uh, running for Google Analytics, which makes, of course, uh, really hard to compare the two solutions and tell if in terms of performances one is better than the other one. Uh, anyway, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, the um, uh, how you can improve the performances of Matomo uh, thanks to the hardware part. So, in fact, when you look through the documentation of Matomo Analytics, they are clearly telling you that uh, if you get a better hardware you will get actually better performances and this is what we will show uh, today in this video so as you can see here matomo is giving you a recommended server sizing and um, in order to illustrate that i am going to show you uh, the differences between uh, one laptop so this this one so my current laptop has uh, the following uh, performances so if i just run like a h top you will see that it's a machine which has eight uh, core, uh, which has actually uh, 15 uh, giga of, of RAM. And um, as well, uh, which uh, it, well, I'm going to compare, in fact, this machine to a Raspberry Pi uh, 3. And the Raspberry Pi 3 is installed on this uh, given machine, right? The one that you can see over here. Okay, uh, so uh, let's get started. So in this video, we show two things, uh, how you can populate uh, data and as well, how you can create a segment and see the differences. So uh, I'm going within my uh, Matomo over here. I'm going to take uh, a full uh, empty uh, Matomo. So I'm just going to call it for the sake of this video. I'm just going to call it test floss like this and i'm just gonna uh, validate it like this okay so now i get my uh, test floss which is created and which uh, carry the id uh, number five so i'm gonna populate data within this given uh, metamo and we will see how much time it's gonna take so i want to send like uh, 250 fake uh, actions for one uh, given day in the website named so in my case it's test floss okay and we're going to see how much time it's going to take uh, to populate so let's click over here and let's look at the time so it's currently 9 22 so let's submit this okay so i wait uh, let's see how much time i'm gonna have to wait uh, probably not long because eight uh eight cpus plus uh 15 gigabyte i think it will um it will not take that much long so already one uh, minute has passed <clears throat> let's wait a little bit more okay and that's it as you can see uh, the script just finished to run so it took about uh, one minute and now if i look through test floss i will probably see my data so let's see test plus okay i got my data yep uh, so i should have 250 actions i got uh, so it's 209 and i should add of course uh, the other one in order to make the number of action but i have the feeling that actually i get my 250 actions in about uh, two minutes okay now let's uh, move on uh, the raspberry pi which is over here so i have exactly the same configuration i have something which is called test visitor generator one day to compute and yes i'm sure so it's currently uh, 924 so i can submit it okay and now it's uh, it's running so let's see if it takes more uh, than uh, than two minutes or not and then the next uh, thing that i will do is i will try to create a segment and apply it to the given data and we will see how much time it's going to take and i will take for this uh, the example of the api okay so um let's wait for this uh, visitor generator to run
Okay, uh, so here as you can see, after uh, 13 minutes, uh, I got an error occurred. Okay, go back. Um, probably doesn't mean that actually um, the script did not work, but I have the feeling so. Okay, that something happened anyway. So we are going to check uh, this by going on dashboard. Just waiting a little bit because as you can see, um, as you can see, it's getting a bit, a bit low. So um, it's probably starting to freeze a little bit, my uh, Raspberry Pi. So probably I will need to uh, restart it first. So that's uh, what I'm going to do uh, right now. I'm just going to restart. It's not going to take much long because by change the Raspberry Pi, are quite fast to load so I can just uh, start it back like this okay and then it's gonna come so we said uh, 13 minutes in order to get a bit of data coming in Okay, so uh, let's move back on the terminal. So, oops. Okay. Okay, so as you see, some data uh, came in. It was not. Um, not an issue for the script. So of course, an error occurred because maybe after a specific uh, time spent, it just gave up. But um, if I look over here, I get my uh, 200. I even get more uh, uh, actions here. Uh, and it works. So it made it in 13 minutes, whereas on the other one, it made it in one or two minutes. Uh, let's now see the part dealing with uh, the segment. So. I'm going to create uh, a segment here, and uh, for this, I'm going to use the following uh, the following request, okay? Which is going to create a segment straight away. I'm just going to change, just going to change the API token. So at least I'm just going to check if the API token is right. So it's ed6. So ed6 over here. Okay. Uh, okay, ED6, I guess that's the right one. Okay, and that's going to be for ID site number 5, if I get it correctly. ID number 5. Manage. The number 5. Yes, correct. So, number 5. So, let's see in how much time it's going to take to make it. Okay, kind of straight away. Okay, that's that's great. Um, so if I go over here in dashboard, and if I click over here in uh, text floss, and if I apply my segment, this one, yep, yeah, as you can see, if I look at any report, it's going to apply it straight away. So this segment is about, um, so it's taking the browser and taking the country code, okay? And through the API, I just need to uh, make the following request in order to uh, for it straight away. Let's now see uh, how it's going to look like if I uh, load it on a Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to go over here and just going to click on my digital analytics course. Just going to copy and paste the following segment editor. Okay, and I will need the token. So that's that's the script I'm going to use. Okay, cut it and then just I can paste it here. Oops, I paste it here and now I just need the query. Okay, uh, the token and so here is my token. So I just copy this one and just go over here and just paste it like this. Okay, and let's run it. Oops, not found. Um, the request was not, yeah, because I made it wrong. It's localhost. Internal. 
Okay, so the previous script, uh, the pre on the previous segment was uh, saved instantly on the uh, on my laptop. But for the Raspberry Pi, let's see how much time it's going to take. Okay, seems like it's doing it as well in real time, which is a good thing. Um, and now I'm going to apply it. So let's okay, let's apply it over here. Okay, it still took a bit of time, but not that much. Okay, a little bit longer, but not that much. And let's apply it on locations. Okay, there's a, as you can see, there's a tiny difference in terms of time, but not that much compared to the laptop. However, uh, so regarding the date to compute, uh, as you have seen, it was the difference was kind of seven to eight uh, times more. And that's everything that I wanted to, uh, to show you for, uh, for today. So of course, if you want to make uh, your Matomo, uh, let's say more performant, uh, what you need is that to have uh, more hardware. Yes, of course, it's uh, going to help. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.